Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nimichek. Just a quick little uh, overview. People say, well, how do you know if somebody has autonomic dysfunction? Or how do you know if their autonomic nervous system isn't working correctly? Well, it's, it's pretty simple, actually. Um, there's you know, some basic symptoms that really kind of lead you to this. Now, the autonomic nervous system, it controls your hormones, your immune system, your metabolism, uh, your emotions. But from a diagnostic standpoint, the most importantly is it controls how your organs work. Your blood pressure, your intestinal tract, your pupils, uh, your bladder. And so when we see certain symptoms that you have a mixture of those things, it's a big, big clue. All right. Now, let's just talk about being kind of tired and, and maybe occasionally lightheaded when you stand up. You should never feel that way. You should never feel lightheaded. Now, first thing you do as a doctor is you basic labs. Is somebody really anemic? Do their kidney liver fine? Do they have any heart failure? And so if all that stuff is uh, you know, non-existent, then yeah, you got to really start worrying like, boy, maybe the nervous system can't regulate blood pressure correctly when they're standing up, okay? And the same low blood pressure give you headaches, uh, gives you brain fog. I mean, this is attention deficit disorder. So if you have attention deficit disorder, you definitely have autonomic dysfunction, okay? And <clears throat> other clues, um, getting bloated, being constipated, those are two big autonomic symptoms. Another one, uh, I have trouble like either tolerating bright light, okay? This means your pupils can't constrict properly, or you have trouble like kind of in those evening hours, kind of when the sun's going down and not, and your pupils are having a hard time kind of adjusting to all the variation of light and dark and stuff like that when you're driving around. So people like don't want to drive in the evening. They have autonomic dysfunction. Okay, now the good thing is, this is reversible. People are like, well, how do you know my fatigue isn't from something else? Like I said, your labs are all normal. And now other common diseases, let's say low thyroid function. If you've been replaced with thyroid hormone and the TSH is normal, and I don't care if you got Hashimoto's and you're tired, it ain't from the thyroid. Okay, if you have diabetes or high blood pressure, they really don't give you any symptoms unless you're completely out of control, like blood pressure's in the 200s over something, blood sugar's like three, four, 500, all right? And so those aren't gonna cause anything. You know, they're gonna cause these other symptoms. Or if you have some autoimmune disorder like rheumatoid arthritis, you know, your hands hurt. They, that's not gonna make your blood pressure regulation be off, okay? So just a couple quick little pointers. And so if you're wondering about that, you just go to our little website. I'll put a link here. And what you'll see is um, just some questions that I, I use when I talk with patients to kind of sort out, does this sound like autonomic dysfunction? It's, it's free, it's real quick. It'll give you an idea of what, uh, what's going on. So everybody have a great day, take care.